Hi, I'm Shelby and I'm here with Athens County Public Library's very first Digital How-To Fest. Today I'm going to teach you how to make these swirling glitter jars, a very simple craft that serves as a reminder that as your thoughts get shaken up and your anxieties begin to run away from you, that it is okay to just sit and as you watch the glitter settle, you remind yourself to take a break um, calm down and allow these thoughts to pass. The supplies that you'll need for these are very cheap and simple and many of them could be found in your own home. The first one that we're looking at is a jar. Now it doesn't need to be any specific type of jar. A jelly jar or a jam jar would work just fine. My only recommendation is that it be something that you can seal tightly because we're going to be shaking these. Then you'll need some food coloring, some glitter, some glitter glue, and some hot water. Now the water doesn't have to be boiling hot, getting it just out of your sink is fine. It just needs to be warm enough that you can feel a bit of heat off of it. Now. The first thing that you're going to do is pour a little bit of your water into the jar. Something like that should be plenty. Then you're going to unscrew your glitter glue and pour some of it in there. It doesn't have to be a whole lot, really the thickness is up to you and how thick you want your glitter jar to be. I usually put in about this much, maybe a little bit less. Then you're going to add your glitter to the mixture. Again, how much is entirely up to you. I like to start with a little and then work my way up as I see fit. <laughs> and then for food coloring, you're, wanting, you're going to want to use only a little bit of this. I suggest one, maybe two drops. And with all of that put in there, you're going to top it off with your water. Bring it up just to the rim of the jar, but leave a little bit of space so that you can shake it. So I filled mine about to there. Then you're going to put your lid on tight. And shake it up. And then, as the glitter swirls, it will look something like this. It will slowly settle to the ground, and you just shake it back up. And let it go again. <laughs> they look very, very magical in person, and I can only hope that the video captures that sort of small wonder in that jar. Well, that is all for my contribution to the library's first digital how-to fest. I hope that you enjoyed this craft, and if you make any of your own, please feel free to comment it below this video so that I can see. I look forward to seeing your creations, and I hope that wherever you are and whatever you're doing, that you are staying well, staying mindful, and I hope to see you soon. Thank you!